M0 FXB Hamtech. As you can see, we're in gadget heaven here. This is actually a modified UVK6. So we'll take the battery off. Now, I didn't modify it. It was done for me. And it has got the 512 kilobyte modification and the HF board fitted. So we're going to take off the antenna. Okay. And look, that was already there. And we're going to pull off the knob. And then what you do, there's no screws. You don't have to remove any of these rings. You just lift from the bottom, which we've already started to do. And we're going to pull it out very carefully. Now, what will fall out is the little rubber grommet that's behind this PTT. But otherwise, it should pull out quite well. And I'm hoping I don't pull off or interfere with the new connector for that SMA. So I am trying to be careful uh, here. I, I, I'm interested and I want to see the, you know, the modification. Now, one thing that, ne I ne that nearly always breaks off when I do this is the two solder points for the speakers nearly always when I do this. So let's have a good look at this. Try and hold it. And I don't want to solder the speaker if I don't have to. But you can see that... Zoom, get it nice and close for you. We will zoom in. I can actually see better myself that way. There's an extra connector just on the actual board, which is running up to the antenna. Okay, and how tight is that? Ooh, a bit wobbly. <laughs> okay, but anyway, it's there and it, does, it is working. Um, so, and then you've got a big solder joint here. There's the board. Now they do remove on the other one, anyway, they removed one of the diodes in this area to allow that antenna to be to be connected. So that's what we're seeing. Okay, now the chip, the upgraded chip, where's that? Is it this one here? Could be this one here that gives it the extra memory here. So have a good look. Try and focus it in. It is quite hard to focus. There you go. Let me know what you think. And, you know, I know that antenna didn't feel very tight. And you do have to lift this screen. You're not really seeing much underneath there. Let's see if we can see anything underneath there. But that does feel a bit loose. But probably because it's connected straight to the board via that connector probably doesn't matter and then to put it back together I haven't yanked off the speaker wires yet which you can see the red is on the right you just turn it round line everything up with the antenna holes like so and then Gently push that back through. I just do it with two hands a minute. So yeah, that's sort of, that actually isn't connected to the board. The coax cable is the connection. Then this bolt just bolts on this plastic. So just remember that this plastic is holding any antenna connected. It's quite thick plastic. And then when you slide it back in, you have to make sure that the coax that's there isn't touching either side of in the way of the screen. Um, but it seems all good now. Got it back together. And you have to push quite hard to clip it back at the bottom. So just make sure everything's lined up. Put that pla remember that plastic spacer in. Then you just grab your battery, like so. Battery's in, it's turned on. I've tightened up that with the, make sure you've got that little washer under there. The knob just slips back on, like so. And then if we get the HF antenna, which is my wire. The menu. And that's it. Select the right band.
Thanks for watching. Bye for now.